Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nikki visits Claire, Victor shocks two kids, and Heather and Daniel get wild. The Young and the Restless YNR recap and spoilers for Monday, January 22nd reveal that the soap will begin the week on an explosive note. Heather Stevens, Dale Bloom, begins the show by visiting Daniel Romilotti's Michael Grazia Day residence. The two have a lot to talk about, especially since Heather used the L word the other night. Heather expresses her true sentiments to Daniel. She clarifies that she means what she says about falling back in love with him. While she does not want anyone to be hurt, she does not want to pass up the potential for a second chance with Daniel. Not only out of love, but also for the sake of their family. She asks Daniel if he is in love with Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, and he says he cares about her a lot, but they haven't gone there yet. She asks if he sees a future with Lily, and he says he's not quite sure. On Monday's episode, the two close their sequences together by looking into each other's eyes, kissing passionately, and almost embracing. And then they do even more, going crazy. Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinley, is picking up food at Society when she comes upon her mother, Nikki Newman, Melody Thomas Scott. While she's in a rush, she takes the opportunity to catch up with her mother. She briefs Nikki about Claire Grace's, Haley Aaron, improvement in their hug, but she is also concerned about Victor Newman's, Eric Braden, meeting with Cole Howard, J. Eddie Peck. Victoria expresses her dissatisfaction with how her father is bugging Cole, and she makes it clear that she has no love feelings for him. They both simply want to assist Claire with her trauma healing. Nikki points out that Victor is only concerned about Victoria, but Victoria believes he should trust her more. He works at Newman Enterprises alongside Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, and has a mustache. The two have a fantastic encounter, and he compliments him on a job well done. Adam says he couldn't have done it without Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Victor notices the difference in enthusiasm they have working together this time. Adam claims that he wants to show himself and have fun with the CEO position for as long as it lasts. After all, all bets are off when Vicky reappears. Victor reassures him that if he continues to succeed, everything will fall into place and he will not be left out to dry. The conversation turns to Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, and their passionate reunion. Victor admits that he doesn't think Sally is good enough for him or Nick, but the heart wants what it wants, and he trusts his instincts. Adam enthusiastically accepts Victor's blessing on their relationship and plans to meet with Sally. Over at Crimson, Nick and Sally meet into each other, they exchange some small conversation for a while, then things take a more pleasant turn. Nick observes that Sally's appearance with Adam at Sharon Newman's, Sharon Case, Cassidy One launch party was not an isolated incident. The redhead admits that she and Adam are nearing a reunion. Nick expresses his happiness for her, and she apologizes for the suffering she caused him. They complete their conversation with an embrace and decide it's time to move on and become friends. Of course, Sharon is standing behind the Crimson Bar and witnesses this. Sharon inquires about Nick's well-being after Sally has left. She knows Sally harmed him more than he'll confess. He claims he is merely afraid Adam would end up hurting Sally, he sincerely hopes that this time will be different, and Adam will change and stop from his toxic behavior. Still, Sharon emphasizes that love is always a risk. Nick admits that the prospect of falling in love is terrifying to him. After everything that has transpired, including almost losing his loved ones due to Cameron Kirsten's, Lyndon Ashby, and Jordan's, Colleen Zank, pranks, all he cares about is being the greatest father he can be for his family. Sharon agrees that falling in love right now is too much, her priorities are her children and her business. They smile at each other, and Nick invites her to lunch. Back at society, Adam is with Sally, informing her that Victor has given them his okay. Sally is astonished, and they kiss just as Sharon and Nick arrive for lunch. It may have been awkward, but Nick shrugs it off, he and Sally are now friends, and working with Adam is going well. The couples play well and acknowledge each other, and it appears that the four of them are about to embark on a new period of happiness. Adam looks over at Sharon and Nick, noting that no matter what they've been through, fate always pulls them back together. 
Meanwhile, Victoria pays her father a visit in his office and essentially tells him to quit pestering Cole. She tells him that she is not searching for a romantic relationship, but Victor is concerned that she may be hurt. She asks him to trust her, and he complies. She also asks that he embrace Claire as a Newman when she gets to town. He's cautious on this one since he believes she's a master manipulator, she was raised by Jordan, after all. Victoria says he believes in her instincts, and, astonishingly, Victor swears that if Claire is successful in her treatment, he would give her a chance when she returns to the small village. The show's final scene shows Claire sleeping in her darkened chamber. Mickey, sternly looking over her bed, wakes her up. Is Seth dangerous, and Nikki in trouble again? According to the young and the restless spoilers, Mickey Newman, Melody Thomas Scott, is determined to spend as much time as possible with her loved ones while remaining sober. But, despite her best intentions, her new friend Seth may cause more harm than good. Continue reading to learn more about the young and the restless upcoming episodes. Mickey Newman's new sponsor, Seth, Brian Gaskill, may be a huge stumbling block in her sobriety efforts. Seth has seemed suspicious when he first appeared in Genoa City. The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Nikki Newman's new sponsor. The former alcoholic was meant to help Nikki kick the booze, get back on the wagon, and remain there. However, Seth appears to need a sponsor more than Nikki does. YNR Spoilers, is Seth dangerous, and Nikki in trouble again, according to the Young and the Restless rumors, Nikki will discover Seth rummaging through her office drawers. She is convinced by his weird conduct that he is hunting for alcohol and immediately kicks him out and urges him to go to a group. It's safe to assume Nikki needs a new sponsor, but this won't be the last time YNR viewers encounter the unusual new character. Even before Seth looked to be duping everyone at treatment and concealing his drinking, he was suspicious. Rumors have circulated that he could be a spy sent by Jordan, Colleen Zank, or another of the Newman's adversaries. YNR spoilers, what is Seth Raleigh up to? There's also the creepy issue, it appears that Seth wants to be more than Nikki's sponsor. And if he hits the bottle again, there's no telling how he'll react to Nikki's rejection. Ironically, the man who was intended to help rescue Nikki's life appears to be someone she should be saved from. What do you believe is really going on with Seth? Is he dangerous? Is Nikki Newman in jeopardy and unaware of it? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.